Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. Today I'm going to show you a little work in progress. Uh, it is available to buy at reduced price as a beta. Um, it's only partially finished, it's about 50% done, but it is more than usable and I'm looking for as many people to get hold of it and to provide feedback and input so that the, uh, the gauge can evolve. Um, I would like to shout out to Avsim for giving me this idea and helping me develop the gauge as well. Now we have several pages on this gauge and each page um, is controlled by the S buttons and each of the S buttons expands on the section that the button sits beside. So we have control services, we have fuel, engine data, altitude data and we have um, temperature, speed uh, and wind uh, data in the top and each of the buttons will expand those sections. So the S1 will give you the home page, which is what you're viewing at the moment. S2 will expand the top section of the home page. S3 will expand the altitude data, etc, uh, etc. Et and what we can do, I'm going to press S2 to take you into the uh, expanded view of the top section here. Now I haven't done S3, S4 and S6 yet, that's work in progress, but I have done the fuel and I have done the expansion of the uh, top section of the home page. So we click S2 and that shows you a larger view of our speeds, our temperatures, uh, the CRS and heading, the wind directions and the overall weight of the aircraft. The wind direction is displayed here as a as a degrees in text as well as being shown on a compass and also the wind direction relative to the heading of the aircraft as well okay so let's pop direct to s5 which is the other page that we've done for the fuel uh, this page um, is quite in depth it took me a fair time to get this up and running um, it will show you all the tanks that the aircraft you are currently flying has so it won't show you tanks your aircraft doesn't have and this page will change dynamically depending on which tanks are available to your aircraft we can see that we have the percentage of fuel remaining the time remaining with the fuel that we have currently on board if i whack the throttle up a bit you can see that time will start to decrease quite considerably as my fuel consumption goes up let's pull the throttle back a bit and you can see the throttle uh, indicators here as well over on the right hand side. We have the pounds that the aircraft is um, has on board currently and you can see that it's dropping fast. I'm flying a 747 currently so its consumption is quite high. And we also got the pounds per hour consumption showing here as well. Now if you want to see these values in the gallons we just spin the left dial and you can see the box down here will, will show the pounds and gallons and you can switch between pounds and gallons or percent views for all of the tanks and when it's in gallons you will see these figures change to gallons when in pounds these will show in pounds but you will ultimately see in these boxes tank boxes uh, the percent pounds or gallons depending on which value you select also in the percentage mode you can see how much fuel is in the, each tank as a bar chart as well on the left hand side. Over the right, not quite finished, uh, is an indicator whether the fuel pump is on or not. So I can turn the pump on and off. Um, I need to s show the uh, status of all four pumps, but that only shows status for pump one at the moment. And the fuel mixture, it shows you whether fuel is flowing or not. Um, this is currently showing all four engines flowing fuel. Uh, these would have strike throughs the center if the fuel was not flowing at all. Okay, so as I said, the other S keys will become available um, over the next month, um, but this is pretty much the gauge. There is another change that you can make within the menus. Uh, there's not an awful lot in the menus on this particular gauge because there's not a lot we need to change. Um, the menu is controlled by the right dial and the little LED here in the bottom corner indicates the hardware control for the menu. We'll activate the menu. We have the standard version and information page. It shows you the gauge version and it gives a little bit of information about the other options in the menus. And the next option is to change the background color. So like most of my jet 
type gauges, you can change the background from black and blue. And this syncs with all my uh, jet gauges that have the black blue change. So you change it here and they all change at the same time, they're in sync. And the last option is to turn off the glass reflection as my other gauges do. You can turn the reflections on and off and once again that's a global setting so you're turning it off here turns off all the gauge reflections. Okay like I said this is a work in progress it is a beta we're about 50% done it is available in the store at reduced price so please come along and check it out and, and help uh, me develop this gauge. Um, I hope you liked what you've seen so far uh, the video will be updated as I add more pages to it so Please subscribe if you haven't already and come back out and check more of our videos. Thank you for watching.